Hey everybody, welcome to my third tutorial video for Satisfactory. Thank you for clicking on my video and I hope you enjoy it. In the last video we automated the three main resources for getting started, iron, copper and limestone, and set them up to, with MK miners to automatically mine our resources when connected to power. In this video we work on automating our iron rods, our iron sheets, wires and cables. We also complete our upgrade for tier 1 and 2. Let's jump straight into it. Uh, we're looking into upgrading to the next tier levels for our hub upgrades tier 1 upgrades, utility, uh, biofuel and walls also we have the conveyor and the merger in the logistics upgrade for tier 1 and personal storage and conveyor walls we're going to start with tier 1 we're going to start with tier 1 logistics, the splitters so we can further upgrade our existing production line. Let's add the materials and then hit the big button. If only you could just drag all the resources you needed at once. Hit the button and let's go. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge and split to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Okay, now we're going to put down a constructor that's going to take our ingots. We're lifting the conveyor belt so that you can walk underneath. There, the ingots are flowing into the constructor. And we're going to split off the ingots using a splitter. Add some more foundations, create some more space. So now we're going to set the constructor to iron pipes that feed into a storage container I'll try and line it up a little bit use the green line now connect the conveyors and provide power and then we should be getting iron pipes iron rods, iron pipes either or okay let's look at our next upgrade we really need biofuel because uh, biomass is just not cutting cutting it for us drag the resources one by one We're a bit short, let's just create them quickly. Uh, 
And push the big button. Cool. We have biofuel and walls. To provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Additionally, you can we'll get into the space, space elevator, elevator at a later stage. To contribution to Just focus on automating the base. Okay, we're gonna do a leave collection. Time lapse. <laughs> so many leaves. So many leaves. This is about 10 minutes of leave collecting. And now we're going to transform it into biomass. Very manual process. Now, once we have the biomass, we can change it into biofuel. This burns slower, I think. And then we take the biofuel and we put it into the uh, biomass burners We have got the power 40 watts and consuming 21 we're gonna run short 27 actually Okay, now we're gonna lay down our second constructor to get the metal sheets Need more power. Connect the power lines. And we're going to need another storage container to store our. Po our Metal sheets, iron sheets, metal sheets, those things. And we're perfectly aligned for once. Select the plates. And connect to the splitter. We're splitting into a splitter. Line it up. No, that's not how you line it up. Link our conveyor belt. And then we should have metal plates coming out. Iron plates, I'm sorry. Okay, we've split our ingots into iron rods and iron plates. Iron sheets, iron plates, those thingies. And it looks sort of neat. I think the flow of ingots looks pretty good. Add some more foundations. Search for our copper node.
Where are you? Where are you going? Come back! Come back, Jack! Oh no! Nearly died. Foundations everywhere. More concrete. Okay, now we're gonna focus on copper wire and cables. Copper wire and cables. Okay, gonna lay down a constructor. Constructor into a splitter. Where we're gonna get two outputs, one for the wire and one for the cables. Gonna link our conveyor belts. And we send our wires into a storage container after we've laid down some foundations. Now we lay down our container and we'll put one on top for the wires but we've run out of resources again and we don't have power yet And we're missing a conveyor belt. We're missing a conveyor belt. There we go. And we wait for the first wire to come out. I only found this out a bit late into the game. Uh, if you put down a conveyor pole and you hold the mouse button, you can actually just drag and lift it up to get, give yourself height. Life-changing discovery. Did you see the wire? Did you see the wire? Need more resources. Okay, the wire is going to flow into storage and we're going to put storage down on top for the cables. Okay. 
create some more space to work with and put down another constructor. that gonna work? Yes it does. Power. And we must remember to set the resource to cables. There we go. And we've just run out of power. Again. Our two generators are not doing it. It's two or three. I also learned late into the game you can Turn the power on from a power pole. And check the usage. Fail. Gonna switch it off. We've got enough copper to just finish this build. 38 out of 40. We're running to the max. Okay, we're gonna raise up another conveyor pole. It makes it easier to walk around your base. And there we should have wires. Ta da! This is just the basics. It gets way more complicated. Multiple constructors into assemblers. We'll deal with that in the next video. Screws are the worst, worst, worst thing for me so far. More foundations for more space. Should really fix our power problem. More concrete for more foundations. Yo, we're running at maximum capacity here. Uh, Add another biomass burner. Do we have everything? Yes, we do. If you hover over an item, you can add it to your to-do list, which shows it on screen. Then shows you what you need to collect, instead of checking the menus the whole time. And you can stack them. So if you need 50 biomass burners, you just click it 50 times. It will add all the resources for you. And then you can go collect. If I'm not mistaken, the biomass burner adds an extra 40 watts. Is it megawatts? 40 megawatts of power? I need to reorganize some cables. Okay, oh, we need fuel. Yeah. 
Oh, sorry, my bad. 20 megawatts per burner. That's nothing. Can turn on our copper ore miner again. And we look to be doing okay for now. Almost hitting, f oh, we hit 40. Another two devices, then we're back at max. Okay, now to focus on the personal settings, milestone. Just get the resources, plug them in, push the big button. And then we're almost done with tier two. Milestone reached. Additional storage options have been provided. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and developed a personal storage box accessible in the build menu. Just allows you to store those extra things that you don't want to carry around. Uh, one more upgrade. Plug in the resources, hit the button. There we have our walls. The walls can, you can attach conveyor belts to the walls and go through the walls, up the walls, along the walls. The walls to close off your factory, get some resources. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, today we automated our iron ingots into iron poles and iron sheets. We also covered converting copper ingots into wire and then wire into cables. We also unlocked biofuel that we made from biomass collected from wood and leaves. Join me next time when I cover the automation of screws, reinforced plates and reinforced steel frames. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comments below. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. That's all from me. My name is Michael Bro. Bye now.